Have you chased shadows, often shy, not catching them regardless of how hard you try? Seeking happiness that seems to fly, why not let go of these shadows, I say, to see the sun of a brand new day? Imagine a world where you are truly free, no more rain, just always sun you will see. Can you release the need to be someone and embrace the freedom that's already won? For in letting go we may just find the peace and joy we've left behind. Become nothing and you turn into everything. It's a quote from Rumi. And I can't stop thinking about this paradox of experiencing everything in life by first becoming nothing. Imagine if you could experience a constant sense of bliss by letting go your identity. When you see this shocking truth that the self you think is real doesn't exist. One simple realization away from all of your perceived problems. No longer needing a medicine when we are sick or a method to feel better. Not looking for a solution for it. that implies you show lack of understanding. So let's understand together how letting go of ourselves might be the only thing to find everything we've been looking for. Have you ever felt that no matter what you do, lasting happiness, so not the happiness you feel for a minute or an hour. Have you ever felt that no matter what you do, happiness always seems out of reach? And I don't even like the word happiness. So whatever it is that you think you look for, do you feel that it is always just out of reach? That you chase success, relationships, experiences, but that that deep sense of contentment always remains, is always difficult to catch and hold on to. What if I told you that the solution lies in the opposite than what you've been taught? Have you ever considered that the self, the person you call whatever your name is, isn't real? The person I call Jordan. A big disclaimer, when I hear these things, I immediately zone out because they sound way too spiritual and that's not where I'm going with this for as I'm highly practical by the way I'm Jordan 23 years old did over 4 million dollars in revenue hired over 50 people and I started making videos in 2012 could it be that this Jordan that I cling on to is merely a, an illusion created by the mind and if that's the case could letting go of this illusion be the key to gain everything in life I mean since the day people started talking to us. We've been fed illusion, right? We perceive them as reality because they seem normal. After all, everyone is looking for achievement, trophies, wealth, family, happiness, and so on. So we spend our lives creating different identities because it has been normalized, everyone does, and even it has been promoted by everyone. I mean, just an example when you are on a birthday, right, and, and your uncle comes to you, how are you doing at school? You know, the typical questions. It's everywhere. When you really start to see this, you will start to see that it is everywhere. Well, not everywhere. I wouldn't say it is in nature where I'm at right now. So it seems like everywhere where there are no people, you cannot find illusions. Don't believe me, big disclaimer, I'm a conditioned individual just like you, and believing my work to be true and shifting basically your beliefs exchanging them is that wouldn't do any good for you so instead question as you watch this and let it maybe merely be an uh, inspiration to start examining your own life so do we create ourselves instead of seeing ourselves i mean for myself the successful jordan the athlete jordan later on maybe the father jordan whatever it is could it be that we are actually creating the source of all of our problems i'm not here to give you an answer i'm just asking the question when i did for myself when i explored that question i saw how many identities i've created for myself and the impact they have because i mean i didn't create hundreds of identities but it was more so the impact that they have. One of them was the successful CEO, the identity that I was the successful founder that had a big team of employees or should have a big team of employees. I mean, that caused a lot of trouble and a lot of mistakes that I've made. I also created the concept of this masculine boyfriend that cannot make one mistake that goes against the concept of masculinity. For if he does, his girlfriend will start to lose attraction. I mean, I can continue with all of these examples, but it will serve you better if you observe this for yourself about your own life. Now, why are these identities bad? They aren't. It's more so about the consequence of having them, believing in them, almost not seeing them as well. The consequence is that now everything happens to me, to that identity, and I will feel it, or I will feel anything for that sake, because, I mean, there's a lot of things happening in the world, but you don't feel 
most of them. You don't have an emotion about most of them because you aren't aware, you don't think they happen to you. I mean, right now when I look here, there's a lot of trees. If there is a leaf falling from the tree, then, well, I don't even see it. But if I see it, I don't feel this happening to me. But when there is a fire breaking out in my office, right, or something big falling on my office, and now I have to uh, pay a lot of money, repair it, whatever it is, now I feel that because I do feel this happening to me. And in this case, maybe the uh, identity of the successful founder, entrepreneur, CEO. So if there is a fire breaking out in my warehouse, now that is a mistake of the successful Jordan, you see? CEO Jordan. There's a breakup, mistake of masculine Jordan. If I get injured, then it's a mistake of athlete Jordan. If I'm in the hospital with health problems, then it's a mistake of biohacking Jordan. Didn't get enough sleep. You see all of this. We take everything personal because we're so invested in all of our identities. And because we do, we feel everything, the good and the bad, the pride of money and the stress that maybe comes with it. Breakups, the trophies, the birthdays, the funerals. And often there are negative emotions and we start to look for solutions because we don't like the negative feeling. The stress of the CEO, the struggle of the father and so on. But what I'm saying is this, why look for solutions with an expiration date when the creation of our identities is the root of the problem and therefore lies in that the solution. That as long as I see myself as all of these things, as successful Jordan, that I can only find temporary calm in this continuous storm. What about seeing the freedom in front of you, the freedom to let go of these identities? Because that is possible and that when you do, you no longer have to give them water. See what I mean? So we no longer have to go to the plant store to buy plant food for entrepreneur Jordan, masculine Jordan, husband Jordan, father Jordan. Instead, we just throw away the plants for we finally see they produce toxic oxygen. What if the day you let go of the need to be somebody, you no longer feel the need for happiness because you can feel it in who you are right now. Imagine being reborn every day without memories, without past experience, knowledge. You would look at the trees with completely new eyes, right? You would no longer look at these trees here or whatever it is in your life while seeking confirmation, while comparing it with past memory. You would look at it with completely new eyes every day, every second. You would look at it and wonder. I mean, you can do this for yourself, but it's crazy when you start to look at these trees, for example, imagining you didn't know anything about this whole nature and tree thing that you do think you know about trees. I mean, this is not some wishy-washy thing that doesn't hold any practicality. You can actually live this way, or maybe better said, finally live for as I have constantly let my thoughts control the things I see based on the comparison of the past and thoughts about the future. It has distorted reality. When I say that, I think about children and they always ask a lot of questions. Most of them do, right? And they ask, Daddy, what is that? And then what if you say as Daddy, I don't know. And they point towards a tree, you don't know. How beautiful is that? What if the truth is that who you are today is enough? but that you don't know your true self yet. And what if trying to make yourself into someone will only take you further away from that realization? Could it be that you finally find the things you've been looking for the day you stop searching? For as long as you continue to search, you will never find it in today and right now. And you will always believe you will find it tomorrow or next week or next year. Could it be that you are not blissful because you wait for positive things to happen to you rather than surrendering to it all? If you give up yourself without seeing that as a sacrifice, which is almost implied by the word giving up, but if you can give up yourself, could it be that there is no one left to experience pain and suffering and happiness? And that you wake up every day and experience the world with new eyes? That when you stop buying new plants, that when you stop watering your current plants, you finally start to walk into the real forest outside, which doesn't need your water, you see? That you can finally experience it without anything, without bringing your water, without effort. So you may finally start to see the beauty of it, but there is great comfort in the attachment to your plant. So may you find a way to let go of it, friend. Talk soon. And the serious person may check the show notes.